Joe Chris Beckler. From claim jumpers to politicians to coyotes, the straight shooter that shook up the 2008 presidential race is taking them all on and licking them good. Hey, trespassers, this here is Joe Chris Beckler, and this is the Chris Beckler stance. The sun beating down won't be for long, so let's hit the pile. Top of the pile. Mohammedans are fixing to open the tallest building what could scrape the sky. Now, I hung a man or two in my life, but that don't make me a judge, so says I don't pass no judgment on these Arab, but you gotta be full as a tick on stump liquor to build on top of sand. So that Turkish building ain't long for this world, and I'm putting that on my predication list. Okay, back on the pile. The government's calling back more chickens that they say is contaminated with the chicken curse. Well, I say no good chicken suits me fine. If you're too lazy to strangle your own bird, maybe a week on the privy straighten you out. All right, time to stand the gap. That black president's talking about spending a bunch of our money on something's calling wind farms. Well, that hard case is trying his best to tell you and me that they're going to catch the wind so they can use it later. Uh, where's that Chinese woman? Uh, are you showing the pictures of the windmills? Uh, yeah, it's up, it's up there, Joe. It's, uh, up there. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty for Chinese. Now, well, let's see what our stuff code has to think about this pie sky nonsense about windmills one ain't even connected with nothing. John Albert. You can sit for a while, but keep your boots on. Glad to be here, Joe. Yeah, you can talk like a thoroughbred, so talk. Now, give it to me, sound on the goose. Why is Washington so dead set on putting up those propellers? Well, here's the straight facts about wind energy. It right. would require 400,000 turbines to meet the United States' electricity needs. Yeah. There's enough oil in the continental shelf of the West Coast to reduce our dependency on foreign oil, but the Democrats won't let yeah, us drill for it. Well, then we're going to have to take that oil. Turn them windmills over, plant them in the ground, and change them to oil decks, same as we did at Panama. Ain't that the Simon Pure? Sure, but we definitely need and to open up. If those foreigners or anybody else don't cotton to it, I got Black Baby here. Show them a Second Amendment. Right, Joe, it's outrageous. Worst of all, all right, this. next talk. My telegraph man in the hill just sent me a message on the clicker. Now, I get a hundred dozen of these here messages all day, and I can't read them. So, Chinese picks them out, the good ones, and, well, yeah, come on, Billy. To Jode, stop. And what about these taxes? Stop. You know, that government always sneaks in when I'm half seas over and purloins the very thread from my hanky. That's why I'll die before I vote, and I don't respect no man what ain't lost a body part at war. That's right, Joe. That's why we've got to cut taxes instead of adding more, so the people can have greater control over how their Damn money is right. spent. Damn right. we got to take sanctuary in the mountains. Got to steal the little children from the town and make our own army in the hills there. Well, I would stop short of kidnapping, but I do think that people You're need to be made aware pansy. of... You talk about slitting that hog's throat ear to ear, and you want to caress it and call it sweet That's Sally. That's not a fair assessment, Joe. You're not being fair. Get out of my cabin, Albert. Get before Black Baby starts a barking. Thanks for having me, Joe. Hey, pink at the core, little homo sucking at his mama's dick. Now, you stick with us now, because we got a fine jam from the fair, and we're going to stick it to a horse so we don't lose our mind. <laughs>